Welcome back to yet another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic military tactics and CQB doctrine to play this game. This game is called Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, and it's a top-down, active, pause, isometric, tactical planning game where you plan out and execute CQB tactics to accomplish set missions. And a recent update added several levels. One of those is called Flat Mates. If by some chance you haven't yet purchased this game, I'd encourage you guys to do so. You can grab a copy of it over at my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming, where your purchase will support the channel directly. Thanks so much for those of you who choose to do that. Now today, this level flatmates is kind of an interesting one. You know, in door kickers, I usually like the kind of typical top-down, small-scale tactical CQB planning where you can really exercise doctrine and talk through how you would go about clearing structures and using tactics like Battle Drill 6 and limited penetration and dynamic entry and all these different things that we've talked about time and time again throughout this series. But in flatmates, it's essentially a defense and it's a defense to extract a VIP. And then the mission briefing says that your agency safe house is compromised and the enemy is seconds away from kicking down the front door. Extract the VIP safely. So here we are two, you know, um, intelligence operatives that are tasked with defending a VIP. The VIP is located right here. You can see our safe house and our mission is to get the VIP over here to safety. Meanwhile, the enemy is going to be coming through the front door. Of course, the front door is also our primary exit to get our VIP friend out of here. And when I look at this thing, I really kind of look at it in three phases, essentially. And the first is to secure the VIP by putting him in a panic room or a safe location where he can wait out the gunfight that will immediately ensue. And the second phase is really fighting the defense itself. And we're typically on the offense in CQB, but here at least in the second phase, we're going to be on the defense. And my goal during the defense is to canalize and destroy the enemy as they come through this fatal funnel. We're lucky because the mission brief says they're coming through the front door. Um, and so I've chosen to put one of my operatives with the VIP and the other one in a defensive fighting position capable of engaging that front door. This defensive fighting position is exposed to a balcony. That's extremely dangerous and not something that I would prefer to do under realistic situation because well, we know that if a true tactical team is coming through these stairs and then through this front door, they're probably also going to have some sort of sniper overwatch coverage, and this dude could be at risk just by virtue of him being exposed. Um, but it is also the best position to defend the fatal funnel from a geometry standpoint because I have standoff from the door. I have cover that is from the wall on the external portion of the balcony. And then I also have a crew serve weapon in the form of the M249 special purpose weapon, the lighter version of the M249 saw. And then Zim over here is running the AK-105 suppressed with a Glock 19 um, and then the helmet and cameras and all that sort of stuff. I'm actually going to take off the night vision, which is something we don't typically do. Um, but I've been told that having night vision on reduces your field of view in daytime. I don't know if that's true or not but I'm going to do that just for today. The goal here is going to be to engage them in this fatal funnel, destroy them there, and as soon as we can get some breathing room, then launch to secure a foothold and get our VIP to safety. We'll see how that goes, and uh, and at the very end, you'll be able to watch it back in the playback that we always enjoy at the very end. These are glass doors up here, so luckily, I'm able to rapidly reposition and then immediately get eyes on that door. I've told everyone to be quiet for now. I'm gonna have this VIP barricade himself in this room, and I'm also gonna open this door up and then give myself some cover here while we wait for this thing to go down. I have this VIP run. I'm also gonna have you run. All right. They're already open. That's a suicide vest coming through the door. I'm just going to go ahead and immediately suppress this door. They're here. Never mind. This is a problem. <laughs> if this gunner can't immediately get these suicide bombers taken out, we are in a world of hurt. I also have a breach up here, so I could be taking a flank if they're coming this direction. I don't know if they are or not. This door is still showing locked. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is problematic. We're going to get a frag over here as well. I'm wondering if I can get my field of view enough that I have some situational awareness on this door in case they are also doing an explosive breach and attacking from the bathroom over here. I'm going to go ahead and send one more frag since we have plenty of them. There's no way it's that easy, right? There's no way. 
Yep, there's that breach. All right, we got to go quick now. Um, the challenge here is, of course, I don't have a lot of retrograde options. I think we're going to do it this way. Follow up with a bang right here. Put one more frag here. I heard some spawns, so they're going to have some more bad guys coming through this door, and I'm also thinking they're going to keep flowing up top. For, as soon as that frag goes out, reposition there. Go ahead and move my VIP into a position where he's ready to go. Frag goes off. We're going to go ahead and push it. Primary is the door. I'm a little bit concerned that they may have come this way and opened this door, so that could be a problem as well. We'll check that here. And then immediately switch back here. Yep, there's the problem. VIP back into cover. These guys need to get dead fast. Notice when I'm employing handhelds, I'm doing it with the rear man. So the first man can keep his gun up. He's only fired three rounds so far. One more frag's going deep. We're going to have to start pushing now. Again, move my VIP up. We're going to have to just keep pushing. I'm trusting my lead man to be able to take that shot. We also have a grenade right behind him. One more frag out to prep it. We cleared to the left with uh, a frag, so we're going to clear right with guns. Right's clear. VIP is going to extract. And we'll hold both flanks on the way out. Primary target secured. Woo! This is a spicy one, boys. You definitely have to push, push, push to get out of there on time. That was only a 43-second operation. This is what it looks like in playback. Remember, that's the first time that I've seen this. We managed to get three stars on a first attempt. Tempo matters, especially in the defense when the enemy's going to keep on coming. All right. Let's watch his back, see how it went. Secured. Well, there you go, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. I am still absolutely in love with Door Kickers 2, and I'm getting really excited as we approach a near-complete game. Whenever that does happen, I'll be going back through every single level and starting from scratch and playing it all again, using all the same insight and tactics and techniques and procedures that we've been using to describe this game from the very beginning. I'm Control Pairs. This has been Door Kickers 2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.